Hello guys and welcome back to DJ Sports. Today so we are doing a Q&A that's a question and answer tag. I posted a get to know me um, on my IG story and I got a few questions so I'm going to be answering them but before we dive into that kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel hit on the post notification button like comment and share thank you for doing that okay so let's start but before that let me invite you to join me and yeah so let's get right into the video I'm going to be reading a few questions from the phone and so yeah first question is where are you from okay so I'm from the greater Accra region both parents are from the greater Accra region mom from the big Ada and then that from Ningo Pram Pram and then partly from Valencia so both parents are from the greater Accra region and so yes a hundred percent Second question is, what's your biggest fear? Hmm, my biggest fear. Actually, so aside, aside losing my mom, one of my biggest fear is to die unsaved. Remember, the Lord is watching you. Remember, the Lord is watching you. On the judgment day, you will cry. Dying without knowing where you're going to, you get it. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. Next question What really makes you angry? What makes me angry? It, can, it depends. It varies actually. So, um, what Kofi would do today to provoke me? Amma might do the same thing and he might not provoke me. You get it? And it depends on the mood as well. So I can't really tell put me off by the virus. Next question, what motivates you to work harder? My siblings. My siblings motivates me a lot, you know. Being a first child to my mother or being the first born to my mother, um, with three siblings behind me, I always feel like they look up to me. I have to always be on my tools to provide or to, to do certain things to make life easy or to kind of you know push them you know i didn't have that so i want to do more to help them or to push them further you know I mean, they are my biggest motivation trust me the next question is are you in a relationship a big no 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 i'm single and trying to focus on myself and to push myself more like investing in myself yeah. so the next question is what's your favorite thing about your career um my favorite thing about my career is the benefits that comes with it, the opportunities that comes with it, you know. My job makes me or puts you out there where you get to meet people, where you, you get to have opportunities. Yeah, opportunities to pass on. The next question is, your favorite place to travel to? My favorite place to travel to so, would be what is, yeah, what is. In as much as I don't have one favorite place to travel to, I would like to visit Modis. Yes, at least once. Mm -hmm. The next question is, how do you deal with rumors? I don't deal with them. I mostly do not address rumors. I mostly do not respond to them. It's more like, even if you try to address them, it depends on the individual to either believe it or not. And so... You going to explain, Taya? <laughs> you explain, 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 because no evidence. I just say, you going to explain, Taya? <laughs> So I mostly do not like to address rumors. I just leave it as it is. The next question is your love language. Um, okay, so my love language is gifts, affection, physical touch, quality time. Oh my God! Wow! And yeah, that's my love language. Um, the next one is would you rather ride a bike? A horse or a car. My number one would be a bike. I'm a bike person. I love that motorbike. It's my favorite motorbike. But I don't know how to ride. So the next question is: If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'm a rice person. I'm a rice person all day, any day, any time. So yes, I can eat rice in the morning, 
eat rice in the afternoon. Eat rice egg in it. So yes, I'm a rice bit. And the next question is, do you like or dislike surprises? Let me let me position myself well. <laughs> who in this world would who in this world wouldn't like surprises? I mean, tell me. Tell me who doesn't like surprises. Of course, I'm up for surprises. So whoever is thinking or planning of surprising me, I beg, please do. I'm up for it here. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is your pet peeves. What are my pet peeves? Um, unhygienic person. It's, it's, it's my... Uh, it puts me off. And then I think um, snoring. Snoring, snoring, snoring. Snoring puts me off to the core. To the maximum core. The next question is, if you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? So that would be um, last year. So that's 2022. Yeah, 2022 is my year of all time and yeah I'd, I'd like to travel back to this um the next question is what are your hobbies so what are my hobbies okay so my hobbies are i like music i mean good good music i like movies i like to travel around i like to explore basically yeah. i don't know in my financial situation i would have been traveling more how many pillows do you sleep on? Currently, I have four pillows. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so four pillows. And I'm hoping to get more by the way. I like to roll more on my bed. And each time I roll, I want to feel a pillow. You get it. Um, the next question is, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Um, it actually depends. So I work every day from Monday to Saturday. Probably take like right, um, 20, 30 minutes to get ready. If I've already ironed my clothes, taking a bath and dressing up and everything will take like 15 20 minutes. I'm not a makeup makeup person, I don't really have much time to be doing makeup and all that. And so, yeah, I try to keep it simple. Once I have my edges done, I have my lip glow or lipstick on, I'm done for the day. I hardly do my mascara as well, so I do what I feel like, and then yeah, I go. So, the next question is. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? On a scale of 1 to 10, no, I'm not funny at all. So like on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm like 1 or 2. <laughs> I'm not funny. So yeah, I don't expect anything. Like once in a while, we can come up. But I'm not a funny person. What's your first job? This is actually my first job. Um, what I'm doing currently is my first job. So I'm a broadcast journalist. And yeah, that's, that's what's... I've been doing for the past six years and over. And apart from that, I have a side business as well. I have an Ashley agency. You can go follow me on Instagram, make Ashley agency. And then I have a food business as well. It's called the Abena Food Stage. Everybody won. Everybody won. Everybody won. You want to go and take two? Why? You. You want to go and take two? Why? Tell us why. We are surprised. That's my journalism. The next question is, how many languages do you speak? Okay, so I speak three. 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 In English. I do a little away, but I'm not fluent in English. So I'm not bad at that. And the Kubo as well, yes, Kubo. <laughs> the next question is who knows you best? Who knows me best? I think my best friend does. My best friend does. I I have two people who know me best. One is a colleague at work and one is a friend outside work. So yeah, these two people this is best. So, if you want anything, if you want to know anything about me, when you get in touch with them, I'm sure they're gonna help you. So yeah, these are the random questions that came and i think i've done almost all or i've basically done all the questions and so yeah this is where we draw the curtains on get to know me questions and answer tag so yeah kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like comment and share 
but yeah until we meet again i'm going to try as much as possible to be doing more content so yeah please i just started the youtube thing and so can you take it easy on me in the comment section and everything but i'm up for all the criticisms and everything whatever you feel like it's going wrong whatever should be added and everything kindly don't forget to do that i'm up for it but please take it easy on because i just started thank you and thank you for watching bye bye